Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this easy beginner project which is a little treasure bag or pouch. I like to keep my earbuds in mine but you can put all kinds of little treasures in here. They would also make a nice little gift bag with something inside like gift cards etc. I've worked this project using Hobby Lobby I Love This Cotton which is 100% cotton yarn. It's very soft and easy to work with. It's not too hard on your hands and um, I've used single crochet, slip stitch, double crochet, and chain stitches. And today I'm using Hobby Lobby I Love This Cotton in turquoise color. The suggested hook size is 5.5 millimeter. However, for this project I'm using a 5 millimeter hook because I want a little bit more dense fabric since this is a bag that will hold things. If you use a coupon at Hobby Lobby, you can get a better price even than this. But this is my favorite cotton yarn that's available close to me uh, wherever I've lived. So let's get started on this project. Leave yourself a long tail that's maybe 12 to 15 inches long before you make your first slip knot. We're going to use that tail to stitch the bottom of the bag together after we make this long tube. Okay, and so what we're going to do is chain 22. Make sure that your chain is not too tight because you're going to be working into it for round one and you're also going to be using the unworked parts of the chain stitches to stitch the bag together at the bottom when you're done with the tube. Okay, I have now finished the 22 chains and it's important to lay your chain out in front of you to make sure that the tops of the V's are facing you. Make sure that you don't twist this chain at any point because that will cause you great frustration later. So make sure that you lay it flat and make sure that the V's of the chain are all facing you. Now the next thing we're going to do is make a round circle out of this chain because we're going to join this into a circle. Okay, so we're going to join with a single crochet in the first chain under two loops of the first chain and that is where we want to insert the hook. So insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over again and pull through the two loops that are still on the hook. So now we've joined with a single crochet and we simply go into the next one under two loops, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two and we've now made our second single crochet into the foundation chain. Continue on around with the same method till you get back to the beginning and always count to make sure that you have the specified number of stitches in this case it's 22 thing about this last <coughs> stitch it's sometimes it gets a little bit hard to see but there is a stitch there. It's right there. 
And that is my 22nd single crochet. The only way I know for sure is to stop what I'm doing and count. And I had to count twice to make sure I had this correct. But yes, that is the 22nd stitch. So now we're ready to start round two. And so we're going to work into the first single crochet that we made in round one, which basically steps us up a level. Now we continue working single crochet stitches into the single crochet stitches that we made in round one. So can you see here that we've stepped up a level? So we're working in a spiral like a spiral staircase. Completed round four and I want to point out something interesting about crochet stitches. Crochet stitches do not end up sitting directly on top of each other. They, it's sort of, it's a slanted seam. So here's the first single crochet we made in round one, round two, round three, round four. Actually, I've already made the first one in round five. But can you see there is an, it's an angle that these stitches exist. They don't, it's not straight up and down. That's the nature of crochet stitches, all crochet stitches. Uh, they are rather staggered, which is real obvious when you're working in a spiral. That's information that you'll need for later in your career as a crocheter. Okay, I have now completed 15 rounds and you can see where the first stitch of each round is. I've um, used just a piece of scrap yarn to mark it and this shows very clearly how the um, crochet stitches do not sit one on top of the other vertically but they slant. This is just a normal part of crochet. You didn't do anything wrong. Um, now before we go on to the next round, we need to reposition this tube because when we sew the bottom, we need this initial um, slip knot and the yarn tail to be on the very edge of the tube. So I'm flattening it with my hands making sure this is off to the very far edge of this seam that we're going to make down here. And as you can see, we still have a few stitches to go with the top round in order to get clear over to the edge. And that's also very important for this particular pattern that we do that because of the way the next round, uh, which is the double crochet round, um, uh, carries the drawstrings. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is make a few more <laughs> single crochet stitches. I don't really need that in the way. Until we get to the edge of the tube. Let me see if that's close enough to the edge. It's, it looks like it's about one stitch shy of the edge, which is perfect because what I'm going to do now is I am going to make a slip stitch. And that slip stitch is shorter than a single crochet, which basically evens out the top round. All right, so for the next round, we're going to chain three, which equals a double crochet. And then we're going to double crochet, not in the first one that already has the chain coming out of it, but the next one. Double crochet in each stitch around. So yarn over, insert the hook, 
yarn over, pull up a loop to make three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two to make two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, and that has completed a double crochet. Now this first chain three equals a double crochet and is in the place of a double crochet. So we will continue doing this all the way around till we get back to the beginning. In this row we round we will join. Okay, I have worked double crochet stitches in every stitch around. I've counted them to make sure that there are 22. And I want to point out something here. This looks like a stitch that should be worked into, but it's it's a false stitch, so to speak. So don't crochet into that stitch right there. You've already crocheted into that one. And don't crochet into that one. It's basically the base of the chain that equals the first double crochet. So instead, what we're going to do is slip stitch to join in the third chain of this double crochet. One, two, three, which is really not a double crochet, but it's acting as one. So we're inserting the hook there, yarn over, pull through, and pull that loop through, and we have now completed a slip stitch join. Now, for the next round, we're going to chain one and single crochet in that same stitch, in that same place that the chain came out of. Then we're going to do another single crochet, and this one goes under the two loops of the first double crochet, the real one that we made. And the rest of the round we work into the double crochet stitches. We work single crochet stitches into the tops of the double crochet stitches. And something else that's interesting to note, and that is that the place where we work into the double crochet stitches is offset. It's off to the side of the actual post of the stitch. And that is also the nature of single or double crochet stitches. The place that you work into, which is considered part of the stitch, is actually offset. It's to the right if you're right-handed, it will be to the left if you're left-handed. That is a crucial thing to understand about crochet. It can be frustrating if you don't understand that. Um, it helps you to count your stitches, especially at the beginning and the end of rows or rounds. It can be very confusing if you don't understand this one concept. Here we are at the top of the last double crochet. So we single crochet there. Now don't work into that stitch because basically we already did. That is the joining um, stitch from the last round. So what we do next is we slip stitch to join in the first single crochet that we made. And if you want to, and I do, I want to make one more round of single crochet stitches. So I chain one, single crochet into the same stitch there. The chain one doesn't count as a stitch, by the way. And then just continue on around. In the last round of this project. And don't work into this stitch, but into this stitch I'm going to slip stitch to join. 
and then one more chain to secure use your scissors to snip the yarn pull that on out tighten it down nice and snug and weave in the ends